This is Bob. Bob and I are going to a newly opened restaurant to celebrate his new baby. When we are sitting at the table, I turn to Bob and say, The staff is very well dressed. The air smells delicious. There are a lot of happy customers eating their food. Therefore, I believe that the food here will be good. After my comment, he skeptically turns to me and says, I don't believe it. You have no experience with the food at this restaurant. For all you know, the food could be inedible. We will only be able to decide whether the restaurant is good after we have sampled every dish and dined here a number of times. The difference between Bob and I is that while he is an empiricist, I'm a normal person. I use inductive reasoning to predict that Bob and I will enjoy ourselves at the restaurant. The attire of the waiters, the aromatic environment, and the jovial atmosphere all contribute to my rational conclusion that we will enjoy the food. This makes sense because we associate good restaurants with these attributes. On the other hand, Bob disagrees that I can make an accurate prediction without prior experience or sense data of the restaurant. This is because Bob is an empiricist and solely relies on his senses and experiences to gather information and draw conclusions. How primitive. To put it simply, empiricism is the epistemological belief that all justification for knowledge lies in experience. We can credit this kind of thinking to John Locke, who developed it in the 17th century. Oh look, the food is here.